upgrade the operating system of the TI-84 Plus graphing calculator. This is the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition graphing calculator I've had now for about nine years. Which operating system do you have on your calculator? To find out which OS you have, press the second key at the upper left of the keypad, then press the plus key which gives the memory menu. Press enter. We see that the operating system 2.43 is installed. The updated version is 2.55 MP. The MP stands for math print. What will the updated operating system allow us to do? The main thing we get is math print, which is mostly allowing users to enter expressions, especially fractions and exponents, in more familiar formats. Also, entering derivatives and integrals are easier. What do we need to install the 2.55 MP operating system? First we need to have TI Connect installed on our computer. Go to the education.ti.com website and choose the TI-84 Plus and Connectivity Software option. Locate and select TI Connect software for Windows or Macintosh if that's what you have. And after downloading and installing, this is what the TI Connect application looks like when opened. The features we'll use are the Explore My TI Data and Send to TI Device Operations. We'll also need a, a micro USB to USB connector so the computer and the calculator can communicate. This connector is standard with new TI-84 Plus calculators but may be found with your cell phone peripherals since many cell phones use the same connector. We'll go to education.ti.com and this time choose TI-84 Plus and handheld operating system. We locate the TI-84 Plus operating system V2.55MP and click. Here's our next screen headed by a statement that the new OS features math print and that TI Connect is needed to install this operating system which we've already done. Next, click on the link that says TI-84 Plus Family Operating System. Next, you'll get a prompt to log in with your username and password. You don't need an account for this and can register as a guest by pressing the Continue as Guest button. Here's the download dialog box. Choose Save File, then click OK. When I tried to download it on Internet Explorer, it didn't download, so I went to Firefox and it downloaded just fine. Here's the file being downloaded. Now here's where it gets a little tricky and where you can save some time and trouble seeing how I did it without having to go through much trial and error. Go to the directory where the file has been downloaded, right click, then copy the file. Next, go to TI Connect to the My TI Data tab. There's one file here already. Now, paste the copied file into this My TI Data download directory. And now, this file is in the directory. Next, we go to the Send to TI Device tab. Press the Select Device and choose the handheld calculator you wish to send to. For me, it was the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition calculator. Note that there are no items to show in this view at this time. To place the file we need here, we go to Browse. We get the Select Files to Send box and select by clicking the box next to the operating system file. Here's the file after having been selected. Next, click the Send to Device button on the bot at the bottom of the window. We get a warning message that downloading an OS will erase the data in our calculator. Click OK. Here the file is being loaded to the calculator. It takes a few minutes. Here's a photograph of the calculator while the new operating system is being loaded. The picture is kind of blurry, but it says uh, receiving operating system 95%. And here we see the new operating system in place, 2.55 MP. And now we take a look at our new operating system by going to Mode and scrolling down to the bottom of the Mode menu. Here at the top we see the two modes we can use to run the calculator with the new operating system. The math print, which is currently selected, is the new mode made 
available by our new operating system. If we want to, we can always go back to the classic mode to what we could do before the operating system upgrade. And now we will use the new operating system by making a fraction. Access the fractional form by pressing the alpha key, then the Y equals or F1 key at the far upper left of the keypad. We have a lot of options here and we won't take much time to go through them, but option one is fraction mode. When we press enter, this will we get two open spaces for our numerator and our denominator in a standard fraction format. And here I've entered 21 in the numerator and 27 in the denominator. In the classic or pre-upgrade mode, this is how we enter an exponent by using the caret key. And that's what it looks like on our view screen. In the math print mode, we also use the caret key, but we can enter our exponent in the familiar exponent notation to the upper right of the variable. Here's the classic or pre-upgrade mode for entering the derivative at a point. Not very understandable unless you are very familiar with this mode in this calculator. We get to this entry point now by using our math key then scrolling down. Option 8 is a derivative at a point and option 9 is a definite integral. And here on the left is the math print mode for finding the derivative at a point. And here's that derivative on the left with values filled in for a polynomial function. This is a lot more understandable than the pre-upgrade classic mode. And here's the classic mode on the right to find the definite integral of a function. Not too understandable as to how to use or to find a definite integral. Now on the left is the math print version of the definite integral setup much more understandable than the classic mode in standard calculus notation. Here's the math print mode with values entered for finding the definite integral of a function. We could go on a long time about other new features of math print. The main point of math print seems to be making the notation more familiar and similar to standard mathematics notation. This has been Upgrade the Operating System of a TI-84 Plus Graphing